okay so they have to take a sign in there okay now we come to this concept of time borrowing what is time borrowing see in a flop based system data is launched on one rising edge and it should set up before the next rising edge on the next flop am i right yes yes sir now if it arrives late the system would fail but if it arrives early we know that there is some extra margin left so time is getting wasted hai na now consider a latch based system the data need not limit itself at the rising edge it can pass through while the latch is transparent entire duration and uh the logic which is very long can actually borrow timing so since the flop is uh, this since the latch is transparent for the entire let us say positive duration and samples only here i have this extra margin so there is some setup time requirement this extra margin for my data to evaluate of the data of the previous combinational logic to evaluate are you able to see this we we saw it in all the equations till now that setup time has uh, we have much more relaxed on setup time in the in the uh, latch based system and all the equations that we saw we saw that there is a benefit of pulse width that appears when i have to define the setup time meet the setup time requirement hai na abhi hum yahi baatein kar rahe the so we can overall gain through such a system if we say that uh my this combinational logic is a little longer so this kind of completes after the next phase has even started this combinational logic also completes after the next phase has started let us say so we are, what what are we doing we are borrowing time across boundaries are you able to see this hello some feedback friends so what do we mean by we are borrowing timing across the boundary so let us consider instead of a latch there was a flop here yes sir could you have slid after the clock side clock rising edge no sir So that is what we are meaning by borrowing. Achha. Borrowing. Okay. So why we are not like considering the define the clock period as from the falling edge to the falling edge itself, no, and rising edge from the rising edge. Then we are saying that time borrowing is there. So we are defining clock period from rising edge to rising edge only. So yes, I am saying to the why only. So we can define it from the falling edge to falling edge. Then this time borrowing thing. Won't we have to consider like separately? We can directly do analysis that way. No, for a for a positive edge triggered latch, uh, uh, the convention is we do it from positive to positive. If you can do it from negative to negative, then the same challenge would come for the negative level triggered latch. बात वही रहेगी राहुल. Okay. Okay. Hmm? Now look at the B part down there. If there is a loop. that is coming into picture then there is a constraint on overall timing are you able to see this so if there was no loop we were simply cascading across the entire system then i would always borrow from the next cycle but if there is a loop and i have borrowed combinational logic delay from here into the second phase then the second phase tpd has to be shorter only i would not have the flexibility to now borrow from this stage itself because yahan to already long delay tha are you able to see this yes sir. for loops the entire propagation delay should be managed within the clock period if there are no loops i can continue to borrow from subsequent cycles So, so what kind of loop are you considering i mean this loop thing any loop 
something happened and you want to give feedback and therefore change the state machine in a different way any loop in the system feedback loops okay hai na so Sir, if there is a loop then i should make sure that my second stage or i think after try to my combination logic should be as small as possible matlab be within this constraint time which i am given yes okay hai na so how much can we borrow natural question is how much can we borrow can i really make it so long that uh, uh, that there is no 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 problem anywhere so we just said that we have to ensure that set of time from the falling edge of clock has to be met is it not so how much can i borrow i can borrow uh, you know if in case of two phase latches i have to borrow like this in case of pulse latches it depends on the pulse width if my pulse width is very small it's in the case of pulse latches my pulse width is very small then all this is all that i can borrow are you able to see this sir in pulse latches it is almost uh, nothing that you can borrow yeah <laughs> yes but if the pulse is big enough then you can ha na see look at it like this if i had it been a flop had it been a flop you would not have been able to borrow anything you would have to ensure that whatever happened it was uh, before you know there was this entire set time that you had to be worried about before the rising edge of clock when you have a pulse latch because sampling happens at the falling edge you have this margin so at least itna aapko benefit ho raha hai but yeah if the pulse is very small because that is what we wanted to be then that gain is not very significant but there is still some gain some borrowing is is still happening or is possible which is absolutely impossible for a flop okay yes sir uh, sir this borrowing time we are uh, constraining it from the first combinational logic but if you look at the second combination logic then we will have to constrain it from the hold side because the combination is getting smaller on that side mm, so the combinational logic is smaller then uh, sir the second combination yeah, logic yeah. that so we again occur. you are absolutely right gagandi set up and hold you have to always take care of So, so non overlap period should be sufficient enough right yes to avoid those combinational logic things the whole time failures you can increase the non overlaps okay so uh what happens if there is a setup violation in a in a clock system so if the setups are violated you reduce the clock speed but if the whole times are violated chip fail at fails at any speed hmm to get working chips is the most important requirement hai na you want system to be functional on silicon hmm and a way to guarantee non -hold, like that whole time failures do not happen is have two phase latches with big non overlap times exactly the same point we were discussing just now gandhi so that is the yes, benefit sir. of using latches and two phase clocking uh, but but sir uh, in case we are using two phase latches even if the chip kind of fails i can increase the non overlap if, if i am globally yes. giving yes. the clock yes that is where at least with the two phase latch system you have a flexibility if you can somehow control the non overlap period you have the flexibility to recover from a hold failure also yes. provided you had set some margins and setup yes. yeah so since we are talking about failures we can talk of a safe flip flop also where we say that we will use two phases of clock see abhi tak in the flop we were using one phase of clock only we just saw that by using non overlap systems or, uh, or by using two phase latches we can have a 
system which would be robust even in the presence of a whole time failure so can we draw a flop which is safe at all times where there are no whole time failures possible because of non overlaps but we should realize that this non overlap leads to slowing down the system as i was mentioning earlier also that no non overlap is a kind of dead time so it slows down the entire system because it adds to the setup time requirement hmm are you with me great then uh 